So if I was a welder, here we are. I'd weld, I'd weld with these on. Here we are. Our episode has begun. Paul's the only one prepared, as people can see. I love your glasses, Paulie. I already see where you're going with this. All you oh, audio yeah. folks, we're waiting on Susan. She's upside Hi, down. Hi, you guys. Panel. I'm here. I'm here He's in there. the little Nola. Paul is viewing, as we know, and by the way, this is our Solar Eclipse podcast episode. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Welcome to it. Welcome. We have lost a guest because of it. Yes. We had, we had the, we remember, we're going to try and get a family band, one a month, okay? And we had the family band from Canton, Ohio, called Compass. What? We yeah. had them today, but they are <laughs> in the, what's it called? The Cone of Authenticity? No, that's Hurricane. The Arc of, of I don't know what it is. They're going to watch the eclipse, which oh. is going on right now, as Paul is watching outside. His, Paul looks like Devo. Polly looks yeah. like Devo. <laughs> He's got eclipse glasses on and he is in Madras, Oregon, and there's just no need. But he he wants to be a part of it. This uh, and he looks a part of it. He looks terrific in the square. And well, that's you can why see, I'm outside, y'all. Because I, I want to be a part. But there it's cloudy go. here. So we've rebooked right. Compass for next week, folks. They're out there looking at the eclipse. I hope they, you know, follow the rules and behave the protocol. We want them on. And uh, we don't want them to be the blind family band from uh, Canton. Paul, Paul took his glasses off for 10 seconds. He's in Paul trouble. A. But it, it, I guess you're not in trouble till later on a solar eclipse. You know, it's funny. So they said 20 years, right? Paul looked it up just before we got on. 20 years till this happens again. And then we were remembering in 2017 on the Happy Together Tour, we had these glasses. And it was happening then on that park in Ohio. Yeah. Well, what's, why six years now? Twenty. What's going on up there? I think it's chaos up there. Come on, pufferfish. Oh. What do you know? Here's what I know, and that is is what they're when they're saying in in 2044. Then in 20 years, it will be back again. Meaning, it'll be back in the United States. Oh, it happens oh. every year in different parts of the whole world. Every so, well, year. Okay, so nine, so 20 in the U.S. I'll be 94. I, I could put that as a goal. I'm usually looking at key <laughs> But if I put the eclipse as a goal, I, that's an immediate 20. According to Natural History Museum, there are two to five solar eclipses each year, with a total eclipse taking place every 18 months or so. What Whether the heck? that eclipse depends on yeah, where you 20, are in the world. 20 years until it gets to the U.S. Boy, nothing yes, like right. advertisement, right, guys? This happens all the time, and we're acting like yep. it's Haley's flipping comet. I will yeah, bet I you, I I'll bet you that there are eclipse chasers i'll bet you there are they're bouncing sure there are. the globe to follow oh i guess they would be called scientists maybe some of them uh to well, study this actually i was watching good morning america and they uh a couple of people just emailed them saying hey i'm right here and they went right to those people they were able to whatever zoom with remote. them and, yeah remote but without oh. remote from abc just a person there having their phone and then being online that way, like we are. That's pretty cool. Can, can you imagine? Can you imagine back in the in the cave days, caveman days, cave people? <laughs> this happens. This is why they, they probably the first time we have the god of the whatever they called it. They're going to start praying the next day or during it to yes. that god <laughs> to spare them. It's the end of yes. the world. Had to scare the bejesus out of them. Yeah, it had to scare crazy. Them for sure. I mean, let's say someone's thirty. 30 years old? Oh, no, they didn't last that long. Yeah, oh, definitely scared them. Oh, God, no. They only lived to 27. They, they had and that's they old age. Gone. Wow. Yep. yep. And you know what? They probably thought it was the end of the world every time. And then, you know, over the millenniums, there's been an eclipse and an earthquake at the same time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it has to have happened. <laughs> oh, bet, right. That's what, yeah. that's where that song came from, y'all. End of the world as we know it. A bet. Oh, yeah, no, oh, the no, REM guys, guys yes. You know it. yes. I'm kidding, guys. So I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, we're getting a rain alert here in NOLA. It's all cloud coverage. Our whole, look, school's out for this thing, and we're looking at nothing but clouds over here. Oh, the city is so yet. mad right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, I have to look, y'all, look, look. Uh, podcasters, look at the over, like, yeah, not happening. Susan in Nola, Shane, not happening. Yeah. No. New Orleans, no. Louisiana, at the lower end of the cone of authenticity. Well, the thing of it is, is it's a really good place for to be seen is here. Um, but oh, not really? Here. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Here. They're telling us it's a good spot. I but, get clouds as well. 
California gets 49%. Southern Cal, we're, we're in 49% territory. Oh, we're more good. than you. But yeah, honestly, guys, you know what? And, unless it's my age, a, a big part of me is going, okay, so what? <laughs> it's like, I get it. I get it, I get it. I'm sorry. A part of me is like, I hear everybody talking. It's going to happen in 45 minutes. So now I'm going to have 45 okay. minutes of conversation about what's okay. going to happen in 45 minutes. I'm going, can't we just bounce in two minutes before what? I want to speak to this because I understand what you're saying. It's a big to do about what. But so with I agree yeah. on that level. But if you're a planet person, like before I kind of screwed up on my times, you guys, I was getting ready, literally. <laughs> to go sit outside, even though I can't see it, just to be under it, to experience the moment. So, Bob, there's some people out there for uh -huh. that. But the whole hoo-rah-rah, and as we just found oh. out from Paul's puffering, uh, happens all the time. It's more the, yeah. so, the giant social uh, picture of it, because clearly yeah. there's a subset. It's a mathematical event. The math of this is a Correct. And why does a a celestial thing, the sun, that whose surfaces is just atomic bomb and hydrogen bombs going off, look like a perfect circle during all this. How does everything look like a perfect <laughs> circle? It blows my mind. I, I know. know. Dude, happened. that's on my list when I get up to wherever I'm going. First thing, <laughs> how'd you make everything round? <laughs> <laughs> perfect. I swear, you want to take a measuring thing from one end. What's the diameter? It's the moon perfect. and the sun are ridiculous. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Hey, you guys, uh, uh, to this point, uh, to this point, I wanted to mention something. So uh, we had our, um, you know, uh, we had our historical society annual dinner. OK. And okay. we had a guy and we had a speaker there who who um, was talking all about the history of Oregon and stuff. And that oh, way back, way back in the day, there was a meteorite that hit in Canada, which caused the Columbia Gorge and the whole Columbia River thing, and that came down. This guy, you guys, had all these pictures, but he actually had a piece of a meteorite about this big, okay? And when you touched it and looked at it, man, guys, it's like just a ball of iron, and it's like really metal. I mean, it's freaking metal. And it now, came out this of the sky. Paul's oh. describing a piece the size of it fits in his hand. Okay, folks, for you yes, audience, yes. it fits in his hand. Yeah. Yes, it was incredible. They passed and it all around. He, we got to and, touch and that it. Is a, I'm sorry, that is a piece of the actual meteor from Oregon. Yes, holy crap! So that's like caveman time that happened. Holy. I would want to touch it. I want to touch it. Today yeah. we touch it. Back then they built an altar, <laughs> but today oh, we yeah. touch it. I would want to touch right. it. I would. Well, think you guys, thing, that's what. I, yes. Alter the other thing rock. that he had, uh, this gentleman, he brought uh, the original um, uh, Lewis Merriweather, okay, the Lewis and Clark expedition, you know, obviously That's Astoria is where they ended up in Oregon, Astoria. Anyway, this guy brought in a branding iron of that, of, 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 um, of him, uh, you know, so you looked at it and it was like inverted like a mirror but it was his name and his his logo that he wow. put not on animals but on all of his suitcases and any kind of Crazy. boxes that were his Hi, Brandon, Mary Weather uh, Lewis was very, yeah, Mary Weather. Very that's cool. very exciting Paul it was really fun to man this guy was great he was a great I speaker loved that. So. but man that ball. meteorite you guys that's a piece of hard metal I mean this thing was only like 7 feet by 10 feet and it weighed like 30 tons <laughs> okay so dig this Whenever anybody's tripping on how did that airplane get up in the sky? Evidently, yeah. metal can be in the sky. Man, yeah, I'm telling For real. Well, For real. Okay. Whoa, okay. Eclipse. Fun. We've covered the eclipse. We're very current. Yeah, that's amazing. So we're very topical. Thank you. We're and topically I current. Believe yeah. I can sense a little extra darkness right now. Oh, for so. sure there is. There is. I. I I'm. I, oh know, yeah. It's kind of cool. What? Yeah, Paul, I see yeah. it, Polly. You have to be outside, Paul. Oh no, no, you can see it. You can, you can. Where are you can't looking watch. Out I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you my. Here's the sun. Oh, <laughs> oh good. All right, there that's it is. It, Paul, Paul, staring. Her. Thank you. That's the moon. I see the moon in front of it's it. It's the eclipse. <laughs> it. <laughs> it looks great. I got to take a picture of that. Yeah, that's, one of those I'm ring lights. I want one. That's great. Carried all over my house with me. It also looks like a kind of a halo. 
Hey, you yeah. guys, huh. do we have any dates coming up? Is this a podcast or are we just kicking it on Eclipse? Oh, no, okay. it's a podcast. Well, anyways, That's why well, I don't do this. Let's get to business, people. Right, let's okay. Business. okay. Good okay. Lord. Got you. Folks, here's the next big That's thing on the calendar is the California Music Hall of Fame. Now, let's just discuss it a little bit. Johnny Boy is going to be there. It's in Temecula, California. Gotta love that. That's down near the San Diego, Orange County, uh, east of that section of yes. California. Okay, um, starts around festivities start around three on on the fourteenth of this month next week, fourteenth, and uh, from four to six, I guess they're going to induct us, and Ron Dante gets an award, and other people are there, and that is all, and we'll do a couple of songs. With a guitar, and that is all we know about it. Oh, wait, here's something else we know. You know more? Um, okay. Amy Albea has asked me to pick up Chuck's award as they have not gotten it to him yet. Oh, Chuck's oh. going with us? He already, he already, he already got his award, but something got snafued. Oh, and Amy's like, color. Oh, do you think you could grab his award while you're over there? I, I'm I like, you, Amy. Susan, I swear to God, up there, you got, hey, here it is. Amy called. She wants to know if we can swing by and grab Chuck and take him in with us. Oh, I wish. Too. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. That would be yeah. fun. We will pick but, up. Okay, so board. Hall of Fame. We're very famous. Oh, this is happening. Right. Um, to be candid, California, we didn't get the connection, although we've all lived in California. Uh, but uh, 24 we'll, years, we'll, Bob, we'll I lived there. there. I know, but it's like call their Hall of Fame. You think it would be for Californians? Now we're in New we England. We are Californians if we have to be Californian. And by the way, hint, hint, we lived in Canton next to Cleveland, Ohio, for three years. So if that's the bar, if that's what's driving all these halls of fames, we're going in Cleveland. But wait, isn't Cleveland the football Hall of Fame? Why are we getting in that? Because if well, we Canton. get in the football Hall of Fame first, the Rock Canton. Hall of Fame is right Thank next you, Paul. to us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. You see where I could have gotten a little confused. Yeah. Let the okay, thing good. is, guys, hey, guys. The thing is, uh, hold it. When I'm making a joke answer, you talk right through my joke answer. Thank you. Go. <laughs> good lord. <laughs> Script girl. Uh, Script. <laughs> no, <laughs> what I was going to say. I was going to say. I'm not no, like that guy in the wheel. I'm not spinning the wheel. Susan. Susan thinks that the Football Hall of Fame is in Cleveland, and it's where she was born. So I really wanted to let her know. Well, it's can you town. dig it? You dig my confusion. I was 18 I months. He can dig it. He can dig it. Can dig it. Can you dig it, but I can dig it. We can dig it. She can dig it. They can dig it. We can dig it. Dig it. You guys oh, you know, are working here. Yeah, yeah well, well, Right. And I'm going to work because the thing is about these Hall of Fames, okay. it doesn't matter if you live there or if you're from there. I know. It doesn't matter because it's really just about the music. It's and a so right. the songs. And guess so what? They're just, Poor baby so, was a hit in L.A. That's right, yeah. Robert. But they're just celebrating because, guys, what's nice is that we've been doing this so long now. We're so old. They're just giving us stuff. The just because you know, hey, bring, Oh, yeah. my God. He's still Have there. we hit the commemorative age? Almost. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Almost. like 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 a Lifetime Achievement Award. Well, like no, we a still got to get rid of the Ron. The Ron Dantes, we got to still get rid of them. Oh, sorry, Ron. No, yeah. but <laughs> we're, we're, we're right behind being, quote unquote, them. Uh, so because they're going to yes. look and they're going to go, the castle. Oh, my God. Evil. We're at the they feel sorry for us phase. I the love this family of the rock and roll generation. And by the way, so we had fun this morning. You guys, we could share this. We recorded some segments <laughs> and little snippets uh, for our radio show. That is the next big headline. That Big is headlines. starting about three weeks in West Virginia, 97.9 The River in It's going on YouTube. You'll be able to see it all the time. It's going up yes. on there, wherever they are. And uh, it's based on this very podcast. They take yes, yes. this is incredible thing. They yeah. Peter Noon. Peter Noon's the guest of the week, and it's called The Castle Chronicles. And Peter Noon is, uh, let's say they pick him. He's our guest, and they take the little nuggets from peter's interview the best parts and put it in this radio show talk to us about it because we have perspective and yeah, play perspective. Deep cuts from the artist of the week yeah, and deep. Other, other songs of the 60s and 70s too in the hour and uh, it's going to debut we're going to keep you posted and we had a blast this morning going just tell little stories about these people we love it was that this morning <laughs> i know it's yeah, felt it like was week. it feels like guys, it feels I like, like a whole to total story a whole solar eclipse could have taken place. It, it seems so long ago. 
<laughs> no. Hilarious. Our lives no, are hilarious. That's, that's okay, gigs, very Robert. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So Hall of Fame, yeah. that's next weekish. Uh the Hall of Fame is the 14th. Yes. Yeah, that's next weekish. Yes. The weekendish. Next-ish. Yes. It's exactly. it's coming on us. And well, share when Susan says the word next, any council ears perk up because that's what we know we're dealing with if it's that's right next and if it isn't next next, our ears stay floppy and we're not going to really react the way you think we should because it is no (laughs) we're not (laughs) yeah but this okay so okay hall of fame then what happens i mean do we have any more work do i need to go to fourth at north tonawanda opening for the buckinghams or is buckinghams (laughs) <laughs> we love when nick does ed huh what <laughs> we should do we should do ed sullivan in our set we should Open make a whole big thing about it every yeah. time we say we're so happy to be open for the buckingham the we'll just buckingham. say buckingham's like nick does <laughs> <laughs> buckingham. it will go and, and every every like other song will go. Did you know the smothers brothers thought they were from england and decorated yeah we'll sacred. use all their th- oh my god this will be great. We'll only have to do three songs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I wish hey, Dell's. Wh- wait, could... wait. Are we opening up for Puckett too the same way? And we can do all the Puckett jokes and stuff? Yeah, the Puckett gig hasn't come through yet because we had a sign off on the malt shop uh, memories cruise, which we did, which opened up the Puckett date. So they're looking at a number of them. Okay. Oh, really? Because, okay. boy, we love our Puckets. Oh, no, that would oh. be great. Uh, let me tell you a story about Glenn Campbell. No, I'm going to let Gary tell that one. <laughs> that, that kind oh, of <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, do you guys uh, know how the Union Gap got their jackets? Oh, well, oh my Gary God, you guys, I'm sitting here <laughs> buying everything you're saying. I'm like, no, oh. I didn't. Wait, what? Oh. It's like, hey, stop. I, I reenact. <laughs> you know it so well, we love Gary's. And look, we love these histories, guys. We're not making fun of them. We're being a part of them. It'd be fun to be the DJ. And, and I'll be holding, like, let's say I'm holding this Puckett album with the Union Gap in the outfit. And I'm going, oh, look at this album. Yeah, the yeah. Civil War outfits. That is so cool. Yeah. I what it sounds like. And then we pull it out, put it on. Yeah. Or no, it was woman. woman. <laughs> and that's a great story, man. That was the beginning Ooh, of that guy's that. career. We just gave it to you, folks. We yeah, stole, we gave it. We, we stole his and we'll story. Let, and we'll let Gary tell you the story. Yeah, yeah, we will. It's better than that, it really. Hey, oh, I yeah. have a question, you guys. Can I yeah. interrupt this? Because I never remember to say what I would like to know, and it's based on maintenance, frankly, by me. It's a girl question in a way. Um, I'd like to know how many of our cast E's, those kids out at the Kyle Barn, I'd like to know how many of them listen as opposed to watching. So oh. if y'all could write in to info at dot, uh, council.com kind of dial in so we can get a numbers count. So I'll need, so that way I know just how much effort I should be putting into the visual part of this podcast. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I I will respond. (laughs) Susan. Bobbert. You never know whether that group's watching you or not and how many there are of them. Somebody always is so yes you have to like we would perform for one person isn't that true susan tell me it's true so then we only got one this lovely shirt i'm wearing for the one person who might be watching is that your point bob yeah you have to dress for one for the one we sing for the one okay all right i was was looking for a shortcut well here's a short here's a shortcut that's going to show you there is no shortcut because people at work Obviously, so they're just listening. The people that are doing their work and their job, they're listening. Tyler, okay. when he's at his lab, he's listening, okay. not watching. Hey, Ty. And then, and the, hey, hey, Ty. And then hey, the Ty, people Ty. that like are home after work, just uh, going around and doing their daily routines, they're going to be watching it. So every once but, in a while, but if they're yeah, vacuuming, they're right. not looking at me 24 7. Right. It's a chick thing. So. It's an old lady thing. I am hitting 65. So, you know, it's, it's happening. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. I got to gotta, gotta act would... like it's happening every time. Thank yeah. you. Okay, moving along. You'd love to not have to. Okay. Um, so after that, now we're in Stafford, Texas. I am a, I am being professional. I have pulled up information about Stafford, Texas. That is Thank you, Bob. May 30th. Okay. <laughs> May 30th at 730 at the Stafford Center. Opening for 
the fucking ham. Again. <laughs> are we? All three. Yeah, I think we are. Or the, yeah, that's either, our first. Uh, it, it's either them or the love and them or the love and spoonful. And then they're not the, the others aren't listed here. So I don't know. Wait, who. well, wait, the love and spoonful as in our friends from the boat. Love our and new, spoonful our now. Friends. OK. Yes. The current love and spoonful. OK. We know the bandmates of the love and spoonful. It's folks. It's Bill, Jeff and Rob. It's Bill, Jeff and Rob. And that's right. Uh, and got to support that the catalog finally is being heard once again. This is It is amazing. I love the spoonful and they're going to do a bang up job, those kids. We support anyone who'll stand up stand up if the originals can't and say people need to still hear this music. That's why. Yes, because, you know, Howard Kalin said this. So do we tell all the little children about Santa or do we just have a nice man on every corner to bring the happiness? It's about the season, not the Santa. There you go. Okay. That's Howard Kalen. So I who like is it that. though? Uh, Steve Boone? Is it is his first name Steve? Steve is the original that graces the stage with these musicians. Absolutely. Stay right on. It's like Jerry and, and Fun in Family Stone. Uh, they yes. Yeah. They uh, supply the stamp of authenticity, approval, approval. Uh, it's all good with that. Yeah. Steve's yeah. there. Yeah. That'll now, be something to look forward not, to. Not going to be the drummer, obviously. He's yeah, be in his eighties, like all, 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 and I don't know what old Juan Sebastian's doing out there, but he's obviously not doing this. Mm, true, true. And I think it's hey, John case. Sebastian, let's get him on. I know Cynthia. Okay, well, try right, because I think John is working. Be huge. Huge. I think, this dude, it's that's an easy one. I can Facebook Cynthia. We talk all the time. I forgot. That would be huge. Thinking. You'll have to do that. <laughs> I tried to get John, and I had. An email contact. I mean, we don't talk all the time, but we text, you know, Facebook, you know. All right. Follow through, Susan, be, or, or send it to me and I will because. No, I, I will. I'll say if she's even at all address. interested, then I'll send it to you. Yeah. But my no, but my problem is if you've done this before, my problem is, is the risk. And I think it happened with John Sebastian of my email to them going to their spam folder. And you know how oh, you can just get sure, sure, yeah. sure. You Understood. You always have to think that. And I couldn't even email check your spam folder. Because, well, if it was in there, Look, it's been a hot <laughs> minute, but we know each other um, through all the yeah. twilly years. And I will contact Catherine. I, I bet it's just the same. Guys, how many bands do we walk this fence on? The Buck no kidding. Dog Knight. Yeah. And now, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, Paul yeah. Rick and the Raiders. Can't they keep going on and on? Like, no one. Yeah. There was rifts that couldn't be overcome. Yeah. Jesus. Hey, so, Susan, I have a question for you. And it's kind of a business thing. Um, So when are you going to leave California? You know, my husband would like to know that as well as he's booking my flight. And I'm Oops. thinking it's going to be like, so 15 Okay, so 15, me and you, we go see our, our man, the chief, right? Yeah. We head out from our hotel, our man, the chief. We go see the chief on the 15th. Yep. Polly. Yep, yep. And then uh, you will either bring me up to Sunland or I'll be picked up. And then I'm going to spend a few days. Okay. Because so, I... Uh, will you okay. call Amy and make sure that that's a good oh, day I'll for them? Oh, I'll have that all set up. Absolutely. Okay. Because uh, what uh, we'll have to do is... We're going to have to rent a car. So on the 15th, we got to get up early, go rent the car at the airport and then drive it. And then I got to come back with it and dump it uh, back in there, you know, on. So, yeah, I might, depending on when we can see Chuck, if it's uh, early enough, I might start back up, uh, no, back down uh, to uh, so uh, to Shaney and them, you know. I got you. And look, if over the next 24 hours I can come up with a vehicle that isn't rented, that has people and bodies who are maybe going to a coffee shop for a couple hours. I haven't flushed this out as every day is a new day here in New Orleans. Oh, okay. And today is my big, 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 big work day. And then after that, I'm on all of it. So let me get back to you, okay? All right, good deal. Hey, podcasties, thanks for letting me work that out. just a small example of what happens when you don't have a guest? But nonetheless, back to Stafford. Casties, this is what happens when you manage yourselves. <laughs> yeah, because you know what, you people? Uh, you people, so that sounded accusatory. You're hey, right. you people. You're not people. Hey, I know you think that when we're off this podcast, we probably go out to the porch and, you know, talk about it and have a sandwich. Or, or we're meeting up Sunday with uh, all the families and the kids. Guys, you're you're seeing it. This is where we see each other and on stage. Back to Stafford. Yes. It is May 30th. (laughs) 
It is at the Stafford Center at 10505 Cash Road. I like that name. Uh, Me too. Okay. Let's go work uh, there. This says uh, merch 8020. Oh, you don't need to know about that. Okay. Headliner one to two additional support acts. Oh. Okay. A 30 minute acoustic show. And this is where I was talking with Carl from the Buckingham. So it might have been Carl. Nick, might have been Carl. Where they will supply, and this is why we think we're all playing with the same band, a la Jerry Hunt, a guitar, a bass, keyboards, drums, and two horns. So we're oh, we're going to be ready for our 30 minutes. We'll hear more about it as it's coming. We haven't heard from anybody yet. But May 30th, Stafford, Texas. And who knows what's happening. Could be fun. That Now, those instruments... Could be for the Buckinghams. Clearly, they they're a horn band. Buckingham. Yeah. And if they went, bah, 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 we'll use them too. But we'll see. Yeah. It'll, be fun. It'll be fun to see how the show in Stafford. Yeah. Are. You guys, how Ooh. great was the badass brass on the cruises with the Bucks? Ooh. So, people, the badass brass are on the cruise. They're a horn section. There's three of them. They're amazing. You just hand these guys your charts, and you have a horn section. And they, we need them on the podcast, guys. They're amazing. People yes. said, people said we're up on stage a lot with other groups because people <laughs> yeah. asked us to go up and, and on the last song, Celebratory. The This horn section, you'll go into any show. And by the halfway through the cruise, now you're going into shows when you see them, you go, oh, good. You know, if you don't know them. Yeah, the first, brad- badass brass is here, yay. Let's say you just saw the Buckinghams. Oh, they brought their horns. But then you start seeing this horn section all over the ship and you go, yeah, a minute. Pretty great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I digress, but I wanted to shout out the badass. Oh, we got, let's talk to them. If the three of them will yeah. come up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or, or a rep, you know, either one. You know. Also just, guys, the newbie kids, they'd be f- totally fun to have. Yes. On the Jeff the newbie, and yes. uh, Misty, come on. The newbies are a great, great cover band. Uh, people, uh, multi-gener, uh, multi-decades, uh, multi-gender, you know. Uh, They're amazing. I mean, we, we They were on stage when we were in one of the ports and right next to us was another cruise ship twice as high as ours. And they were all on their balcony staring down at the newbies and watching our fun time. And That's applauding, right. Applauding and going, wow, what, they must have been going, well, what's going on there? Yeah, and, they were two yeah. boats over good. And it, okay. and it was from, it was Norwegian and you knew, they knew these songs. They're so, world, you know, it was great. Yeah. Was they great. wanted to zip line over to our deck. That's for sure. <laughs> and then a quiet way with the cruise ship next door. You know, even, <laughs> yeah. even Christy, is that anything? Hey, and to the shout out to the cruise. Of, and they all, yeah. It was yeah. funny. That was killing me. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. All right. Sorry. Okay. Uh, gigs, gigs, gigs. The Buckinghams. Well, what's here's after that? What, so here's what, and Paul and I were talking about this once, how, oh, in the early, early days of the tour, the Happy to Get Tour, we would always go home. And all the other groups always had another gig to go to. And we would mourn for ourselves and say, why don't we ever have a gig to go to? So <clears throat> we mourn no more. And it's the old, not careful what you wish for. We we did wish for it. And it is, it is careful we, what we wish for. We are very busy. In fact, we're so busy that Paradise booked us May 30th in Stafford, Texas, because the Happy oh. Happy Tour was starting in June 2nd in Florida. But then, uh oh, the Happy Together start in June first in somewhere at Biloxi. Uh oh, and none of you know this yet. The Happy Together tour is starting May thirty first in Alabama, and now we're in Stafford, Texas. This week. Look what's happening, folks. What the, you know what? That's yep. what I say. So we're yeah. on the day of show to the Happy day Together of show. Tour, and here's the issue. Everyone's going to admit it. The issue is the bus. You must get to the bus immediately to stake territory okay. your large the, the eagle in your birth and go ahead polly you, your claws on it you look left and right no i'm just backing bob by going you need to be first on the bus yes but also guys here's what i want to tell you there's a little <laughs> thing called seniority my friends and i know it's hard to imagine that the kids have it yeah. but we do and so yeah. what i'm gonna do is and ray ray if you're listening uh rachel will get on that bus Rachel will take three items. She will put one on my top bunk, one on Polly's middle bunk, and one on Bob's bottom bunk. 
Here and the go. bunk problem will be solved. I've we'll already got it taken care of because yeah. the new people might think it's a free for all. But I guarantee you guys, you think anybody would get on that bus and any of our people when watching them head to our bunks would not go. Wait a minute. You yeah. can't do that. Here's what they would, yeah, they would do that. But you know what they'd also do? They'd do that to themselves and they'd wait till our, we arrive and they would be freaking out waiting for us to <laughs> arrive. Like, where do they see this? Rather than any well, of them saying, oh, they yeah. might not want to put that I there. would certainly hate to present <laughs> anything but a welcome mat to whoever our new bus mates are. But I do need to be super, super um, bus mom clear about certain things. Oh, so yeah. that's how I'm going to do it. It'll all be addressed. I can't sleep facing another way opposite of what I've been facing for nine years. If I go into that bus <laughs> and I see belongings <laughs> in my berth and I see it all set up beautifully, I'm going to reproduce exactly that setup <laughs> in another berth and let them find it when they come on. And quietly uh, out manifest my demands that way without. This is hilarious, you guys. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Look the, other thing, Go ahead, the other thing that could happen is like, so when we get on the bus, like the three bears, there'll be people in our bunks, right? And so what, <laughs> what we got to figure out is like, okay, how, and so as soon as they went to the bathroom, we'd get in the bunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or any little thing. Oh, if no, this there. is my bunk. And there's stuff in the alley, in the galley floor. They're like, what the hell happened? And the poor fellow, and I've just been trained to think this. I know I shouldn't think it anymore. But if I go on the bus and there's a poor fellow sitting sitting at the desk chair. In your seat? I'd be going, (laughs) hey, that's where I sit. And you can't act like that. That's not real. Hey, look, I have an even better idea. Ray gets index cards, the white ones. And she gets backing tape and she just puts our names on all of our spots. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, oh, Bob's guys. seat, Paul's seat, Susan's seat. Hey, listen, guys, last summer, Carl with a K, our, our sound guy who was new last summer, he was the guy sitting in my seat, quote unquote. <laughs> and so he would go away and I'd sit in it. And then sure enough, I'd go away and he would sit in it. And then pretty soon Carl got the message, but it took about a week. And he started setting up in the other table. Remember the second yeah, table? Yeah, he came his seat. Me. So he yeah. started setting up. Well, now I got the guilt. So I finally go up to him and say, Carl, you can sit in that chair. <laughs> and in my head, I want to go, Carl, thanks for vacating. It took you long enough. But I did say, Carl, you can sit in that chair. That's not for me. That was for me when it was my office. I don't, and I don't yeah. have that anymore. You know, I did Wait say Wait a that. second, but though, he was God. Good. Come on. He took, he took that other table for the rest of the tour. He, was, he said, I'm good with it. And I was really thankful to him. And it was first sign that he and I were going to get along. But guys, uh-huh. may I pause for the cause and explain something that we are just not taking into consideration here. The association are back with us this summer. Is that correct? Yes. yes. You know damn well they're going to be our bus mates. And therefore, we know where they'll be seated. Right. Along the left couch. Left. And then right. you'll have a desk mate in jewels. But remember. Remember. Yes. yes. They may be, don't think they might not be on that other bus and they give us somebody new. You know, our oh, bus is be, good, our bus is be good. Jay and Darren. Well, and, whoever, and right? They, new yeah. people, I've got to put them on our bus before the band bus, but maybe not. And they know all these guys, the association knows that. Okay, good point, good point. Everyone My else. bad, my bad. Could yeah, be. No, I bet Ron, I bet Ron already knows who's going where on these buses. Uh, all right, uh-huh. Susan, get on that, will you please? You can I was ask. just going to say, hey, we could totally, uh, Go find find out. I'll totally text Ron right now and go, buddy, we're on the podcast and we need some info. <laughs> hey, dude, Susan, yeah. Can you do that? He'll, he'll, from you, it'll be like, you're the sister and stuff. For me, it'll be like, why is he bugging me? <laughs> no, I'm going to yeah. do it. It's always fun to do live stuff on here. And if he answers, I know the Cassidy's <laughs> will love it. So we're going to just text Ron, Ron real quick. Oh, yeah, you do that, Susan. Bob, so this this um family band from Canton, Ohio, I, yeah. I, for some reason, I don't Compass. know about them. Well, Compass... They uh, wrote to us a few, three or four weeks back, and oh. I, we did discuss them a little, but, um, okay. but that's when we got into this conversation. Said, well, let's find family bands. There's got to be more than... Anyway, they're from Canton, Ohio. So they yeah. took to, to our 
info email there. And, hey, we just want to give you a shout out from, from, from another family band from Canton. And oh. that weekend, they were going into a, a band contest at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. They were in it and had done well and, and made it to the finals. They, I don't think they won from what I looked uh-huh. into. I was trying to get him on just before that, you know? Nice. Okay, I yeah. just said Ron Ron is text. Told him we were live. Yeah. Um, nice. He's, he's usually pretty quick. Uh, he has been with me. Anyway, so yeah. I reached out to, to them. I said, hey, well, yeah, from Canton. No kidding. Hi, hi. And the dad's name is George, and they got the daughters and the son anyway you can look them up compass so they're going to come on next week they're looking at the uh, eclipse right now okay i'm going to find a new orleans family band and we want to always be able to look out for family there's a cool one from okay i like this i like this angle hey when we get our tv show we can have this as our national thing we always do a family band family band of the month is to support the family band Sure. Yeah. More out there than anybody thinks. I Great yes. and a unique segment that we would yeah, have on our yeah, show. Yeah, yes. yeah. So next week we'll have our our family band from Canton, Ohio, Compass. And now now that gives you time to Google them, folks. You can listen to some of their music. It's out there. Everyone puts. Hey, up. y'all. May I ask? And you'll like this. And it's a good topic for our folks and friends. Do you guys remember when we came up with the idea? for a TV show about family bands and judges and and picking oh, yeah. a new family. Remember when we came up with that idea and then all of a sudden it was on TV? Yeah. Yeah, yeah just I mean, saying. I remember that we pre-thought that would be a good idea. We came up with it. We did. And yeah. in the in the spirit of my contention that we're ignored too much, there yet another example. Why would you have one of the council Feeding into that, that today, Bob? What's in. wrong with you people? Stop yeah. me in. You know what I wonder? I wonder how many family bands are in the Music Hall of Fame. Are there any? Wow. Uh, I don't know. Good point. And then I had another idea for a cartoon, and it's the Evil Cow Sills. <laughs> it's me, you, and Bob as mean little characters, like completely different from how we are. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Picture it like cartoon version of us looking like we look now and 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 we come on and it's the cow seals and the beginning of it. It's all this. And then we're just like awful little creatures, the cartoon creatures that are just like miserable. It. Like, it, hey, guys, hey, like the, the, the road manager comes to the door and goes, there's some fans out front. I'd like to see you. And we go, yeah, tell them to piss off. I don't know. Yeah, It'd be funny. yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's that like, would be oh, funny. like Bizarro World Superman. It would be Bizarro World Cow Seals. Yeah. I don't know. I was just sitting around one day and it came up. The only yeah, it's like go ahead. Go Bob. You no, go. I'm changing subject. Go ahead. Change it. Well the you only the answer I want. Yeah, the only uh sibling band in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with everyone is is the Isley brothers. Okay. Everybody oh. else has components. Tom and John Fogarty Credence. You know, Sly and Rose and, and Sly and the Family Stone and Freddie. They were the originals now, okay? Dwayne yeah. and Craig Allman and the Allman Brothers. But the, the bands weren't family bands. Got it. Got but it. The yeah, Isley got Brothers it. were. The Isley Brothers. Are the Everly Brothers in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Oh, they must be. I said band, right. so they're probably duos. Yeah, yeah. Well, very good. I'm sure, and I'm sure Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, no, they're not brothers, so Yeah. No, they're not. In fact, they're not even friends for crying oh, out yeah. loud. That was it turns out they never even liked each other. That was, that was a great, wow. history. great history. I love it. Heartbreaking. But, but look what, to produce what we all loved, look what that history was. Man, it's amazing. Wow. Yeah. yeah. To to come up with that stuff. And that's what's going on. Same with us. Yeah. It, it, I think there's a documentary on Paul Simon, uh, either coming out or out. Yeah, there is. I saw a poster for it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I got to watch that. All right. So then, folks, the Happy Together Tour is upon us. We do not have an itinerary yet. Godfrey says it's over 50 cities. That's encouraging to us. We thought people. Wow. Would- I heard you. What did you hear? I heard that we weren't going to be going past 50. So I'm already impressed that we're at 50. He said over 50. I hope he's I hope it's true because we we did feel people were going to weaken after we did almost 60. Well, people, we lost little Antonio. Well, people were huffing and puffing. He wasn't the only one huffing and puffing at the end of the summer. So, you know, that was rigorous. And it was the one. Well, he kicked his little butt. 
Yeah, it was a one time because we always tell all the new people they being well, it's very rigorous, you know, but we kind of yeah. flippantly say it. And this really was, you know, and Paul would say, we want to see that June pep in August, you know, and but this <laughs> yeah. really was, when August came, there was a lot of slugging and lugging. Well, here's oh, the man. deal. Little Anthony did great in the beginning and he was having the time of his life. And then it just, the grind will grind you. And man, the gentleman is 83. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, crazy. we hear about Jay and the Americans, Paul. Darren isn't there the whole summer, right? Uh, He told me he was. Yeah, he is a singer in Jay, you guys. He's not troubleshooting for anything. Right. You mean he's going to be a, a fourth? Yes, Bob. Paul, I I think they're only coming with three, uh, but I could be but wrong. But he's one of them. <laughs> yes, yeah, I did hear one of the eighty-two-year-old fellas possibly wasn't going to. It was too much, you know. So it is. I wish I knew more to Evidently, say. Evidently, eighty is the black the the curse of the HDT. Have you heard Jay and the Americans? Good Lord, you, if you can sing, you've got to sing like you're thirty in Jay and the Americans. God bless him. I mean, Jay's got to sing like he's eighteen. Yeah. I mean, well, so Paul, does Bob yeah. and Paul and Susan. Heller. No, Susan has to sing like she's eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bob has to sing without an old man's warble. And Bob that's has to sing like <laughs> well, no, it, it all creeps in. It. It, it's creeping in on McCartney. It just does. But 28 years Bob's of Bob's waiting pub, for his warble. <laughs> all's a rock. I'm 28 years in a pub. Susan, you never stop. So we got good muscle strength in our in our vocals. We do. So I, I, our warble will be later in life. It's going to be when we're so old that people will ask us, why are you making this record? You know, so- I got to tell you something. What I think about this whole like changing of our, our biological selves as we age musically. And perhaps it's because of the genre I'm in. But the way I feel it, but it, but it isn't because I want to see Elton sitting on his stage with his music coming at me, whether he is doing it or not. But if he is there, why shouldn't he be there as long as he flipping wants to? It becomes more than just that at, at some point. It's, it's a it's a it's a, a moment in our lives of connectedness that that doesn't have an age or a sound on it. It is a it's, it's a it's a it's a thing that matters beyond that. Yes, Bob. Yeah, I, I, I want to, re- Paul, go ahead. You first. I got to remind you. No, I'm, so. I, I was saying you go, Bob. Well, I'm going to remind of a story we heard. So we were in the Happy Together Tour. We were doing our show. And we went up to, uh, I don't know who was with me. I said, hey, who's coming in next? And this, and it was Randy Travis. And here's the story he told me. This is where that goes a bit too much. Randy Travis had a stroke. You know, he's he's not good. Yes, so this was more a night of the music of Brandy Travis, okay? Right, right. What was wrong about it? And this is the staff that's working there talking to us, okay? They see show after show. They said the misstep was having Randy there on stage, sitting okay. in the wheelchair off to the side. Once in a while, they'd go to him. They said he would, you couldn't understand him. And mumble something. Oh, I think that's and, different. Yeah, and and sure. that he, they thought that this show the music was strong enough. They didn't need to do that. And I, I agree. That's just was shared. So there is an issue about it at some point. I, sure, I sure. And and for sure, if somebody is incapacitated, but if they just got a little bit of a not as great voice. Well, it's but, like Brian. With right. Brian Wilson. All right. You can unplug his Thank band. Thank you. you can put his voice yeah. I think maybe it's, it's a case by case then, Bob, as you're pointing out. Maybe, maybe it's. Well, yeah, it, it's. Because I think it would be great. Um, so the happy, the, just take the Happy Together tour. And so we've got Mark this summer, but maybe uh, next summer Mark won't feel up to all of the all of the music that he's going to put on. But wouldn't it be great if he introduced everybody and, and was the and could be the MC? Yes, yes. He could MC. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. Good. You know, I think if I, I could be correct, that's what Ringo does. Do you know he MCs his his version of Happy Together? He has a little harder rock, Peter Frampton level, but How I think fun. he's in and out as a host uh, on that. God, okay. I'd love to see that. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is the Happy Together tour. You got to have your hits. They play your hits, and they play each other's yeah. hits, and it's just a different. Hey, group you guys, we got the Bad Finger dude level. this year too. I just remembered. Joey Mullins. Oh, Joey Mullins. Yeah, is coming yeah. in now. Those yeah. songs, man, it's all about the songs, people. You know this. I and love them. Those are four biggies coming on to the show. 
Ooh. and four new ones with Jay and the Americans. So I see what yes. they're doing. I see what they're doing. <laughs> see, the the office, let's say call Paradise the Office. The office can look at the tour and they're not in love with Jim Yester the way we are. They're not in love with us the way they're they're looking at names and songs. Right. Yeah. And they right. eight new songs this summer. Right. And I said, okay, I get it. You yeah. just it is going to be fun people. having the white coats out, guys. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. About the people, you know, you know, right. no, I won't take them away, but they want the different songs. Right, but right, yeah, right. Yeah. So, so that'll be 15 if, if we're doing a long show and they have five, three mm-hmm. bands, Jay, mm-hmm. Association, and, and Mollin. That's a bunch of new songs, not, although the association they've been heard over and over, but still. For a year, yeah, a few years. So, great. yeah, that's going to be a lot of I can't wait to hear music. them again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's really yeah, us, yeah. The, us, the Boats, and the Turtles are the repeats, right? Yeah. So that's good. And two of the replacements, you know, are really replacements. Yeah. Brand right? new. Yeah. But you can tell they're people that were in the pool, bands that were in the pool were in the beginning, just like us. No, not them. It, that pool is shrinking so much. You give people a shot and you learn a lot. For sure. Know? I love yeah. that. You just yeah, I do too, Bob. It's cool. Hang in. And you, yeah. can, you can get on the Happy Together Tour. Yes, even you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, That's like, funny. you know, there's groups out there that could jump on this thing and, and do fine. You know. Yeah, yeah. So, and I'm and just like us. We sat for three years hey, with our arms in the air. Pick us, pick us. Did. Hey, can I can I jump a topic and ask a question, Bob? You had said um, this is where we do business with podcasts. You had said we're all signed up for the malt shop. Are they telling us what they want us to play? Late fifties. It goes fifty eight to sixty two. Okay, so that's okay. May I, a, all right. a specific. Let me look around for my girl thing. Of songs. No. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Girls were happening. I mean, I don't know if I only want to be with you. What's happening? But man, if you're telling me we get to learn, I only want to be with you. I'm going. Who's that? I only want to. Yeah, I know the song, but who's, uh, who's the girl? I think Dusty Springfield. I think. don't know what it is to be yeah. to let me Dusty go. I, think I don't know yeah. that one. Oh, I love that song. Oh, the words. You are know, so good. you anyway, started something. I oh, great song. I looked at the uh, hundred. I looked at the hundred. Best songs yeah, of the late, 1950s. Yeah. Man, there's so many in there we could oh, do. I'm excited. So, okay. I want to go look. Yeah, I'm excited. A lot of yeah. vocal stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. had such fun. Our 70s experience, you guys out there, was yeah. so fun. Yeah. And Susan's and learning new songs. And now we're going to the cutting room. That's a big announcement. December 6th, it's a Friday. With all these new songs now, we're so yeah about having new songs yeah we're goofy and we're so excited because we have room, new cover songs because we're a cover band hey, we'll get on <laughs> on stage at the cutting room because by then we've done the flower of the mall shop all right people uh what do you want you want 50s 60s 70s yeah yeah, oh, yeah. yeah guess what <laughs> guess what we're guess what we're effectively doing don't listen casties mm. we're effectively mm. like we have managed to have a career and keep a career okay based on our hits but whatever with that because yeah. if you get out there and you can't be a band, then you're just sitting there with those hits. We have perfected cover band. Oh, yeah. We've always been a cover <laughs> We're going to go down. We should be in Our history. Whole yeah, the, because that is who we really are as the yeah. Cowsills. And I don't I think mean, everybody can say that. You think, you think oh, we man. don't want to get our hands on some REM? Are you? We no? need to call our publicist. This is a new are angle. <laughs> <laughs> a night of decades. Yeah, we'll call it the decades I'm telling you, tour. this is our new oh, angle. Wow. We have a new image. It's the decades tour. Yeah, we love that. <laughs> new great. image. Makeover. Double meaning. <laughs> They've been around for decades. Well, yeah, but that's not what really this is about. That's the deep. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I can't. I this is about everybody else's decades. Literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think oh, it's that a would good be idea. Great. Yeah. Right. Good work, boys. <laughs> anyway, I think we're done here with this episode. Uh, yeah. Well, anything from, I know. Hey, anything yeah. from Housefeld yet? Housefeld? Oh. oh, hold on. Let's go have a peeky boo. Wait, wait, wait. we can't be done yet, guys. We've got a, uh, in a rapid Hey, fashion. we got it. I love it when Ronnie comes in okay, live. He's on our bus. Ladies and gentlemen, our tour manager, Ron, uh, last name not to be shared. Ever. Responded. And it is? All right. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I got to go away from my screen. This is a big the answer one. to, hey, who is on our bus, Ron? And I even told him we're live on the cast. He says, okay. ready? Yep. Two Vogues, two Vogue. four crew, 
four crew three association and us guys oh my god we are getting the white coats back y'all it's a reunion people so here's the deal here can i tell you i want to share one thing i felt bad about this that i think the our whole bus did to the association I, let's I, see what happened because i love these guys and i know this what did you do bob it was this in the very first time the very first tour i learned on our bus that the association were the type of people that would bring the guitar out on the bus and do funny <laughs> songs and sing at night before the show or after the show for sure and they were that old band. jimmy yester they were that band and i and in the beginning we heard some pretty funny stuff cuz these guys were very funny people and still are they but are when you talk to howard kalen and he tells you they snuck into the ice house in the old days in the 60s to see the association because they were so funny you know this is true okay <laughs> right yeah, yeah, but yeah we didn't end up being a bus that could have any singing outside that show and they kind of learned that in a quiet way don't bring the guitar. I think, I think we ruined play. their camp kumbaya, but yeah, because it was really cool, and I did. We, I couldn't join in. I couldn't sing. The oh, time Bob, I think you it. should invite. A, I think we should have a weekly jam session with the association to make up for this. I think we no tried, way. guys. We tried something <laughs> around. We tried something around bus camp once, and we can't sing after yeah. shows. It's yeah. not you guys. We can't even talk anymore. Yeah. No. Okay. More that. I'm afraid, like he's gonna. I'm not kidding though. But I'm excited. The boys are coming back. That'll be fun. Yeah, guys. Well, it's I'm loving it because I mean, they, they it's learned. a known it's a known entity. It, it's known to us. Yeah. So we all know each other's busisms. Yeah. yeah. And by now, even the association know because I, they might not have been told, but I will never forget Mark Volman's first words to me ever about the Happy Together tour when we were setting out was, "Take care of your voice." I'll never forget that sentence oh, wow. because I walked away and go, how the hell am I going to take care of my voice? What do I do? I said, what do you mean take yeah. care of my voice? Well, <laughs> guess like, what, know. guys? I'm going to go see a vocal doctor. But it was doctor. a warning. Uh, not, or, I'm going to go see a warning. vocal doctor for the hell of it, you guys. Oh, fun. Okay. I want somebody to look in here and I can't wait to see his face. Uh. <laughs> well, I think we disrespect singing rules. I do believe we do. My foot you, think? Is, well, you guys do to warm up, and I do the first four We're songs. We're late, life answer. full of respect. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh my gosh, we don't All warm right. up. So, but, okay, Ron, whose last name will not be revealed, oh road manager God. for HTT, has checked in live here, guys. Castees, awesome. Cal Barners. We okay. know who's on awesome. our bus. Two and four. one more time, Susan, one more time. Who's you on got it? it. You got it. Hold on. Two Vogues. The rollout is two Vogues, four crew, okay, three white coats, and you guys. Okay. Troy's driving, and the Vogues right. should be one once in a while because now we know Royce. He's he's our bus Roy mate. Roy Man's on. Roy Man's a bus mate. He bus man all the way. All um, the way. But um, new, no, so new, new guy. Know the, we don't know the new guy, right? We I, met him. I, he came out to see yes, us. On, he was on the boat. Did a show. Elliot. Elliot. Yeah, Elliot. That's who it is. Elliot. Elliot looks hearty. Elliot looks like he went, he's enjoying he the Vogues. Hearty. Right, right. In the Vogues, yeah. The new yeah, guy. Yeah. So yeah. He's very it, sweet, you guys. He'll be he'll be very nice, I think. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know his history. If it's if it's voluminous like everybody's is, oh. he could be a bus man like Royce. Royce could have told him about. And, you know, he's filled in big time. But you guys, book. here's the question. <clears throat> Who is or who is not our bus driver? Ah. Every summer, people, every single summer, the unknown, <laughs> all of us, because this is the person who's going to be responsible for 12 lives. And this is the person you better not see while you're up. And he better not see us while he's up. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> okay. So this is... Yeah. And, and the question is, who's it going to be? What's the person going to be? Pretty exciting as we loom closer to the ever rising moon known as HTT. Yeah. Hey, here's a good a new thing I've got my mind on. Look at what we can do because it's electric. Is that we can get a, a you know a one cup rice cooker? Okay, so the rice cooker, and then we could get an electric skillet with a lid on it. And that way we could make things in that skillet. Like we can make asparagus. sauteed veggies and rice, like sauteed beef, and... beef, stir fry, lots of healthy yeah. alternatives well, to our nightly creep yeah. out. Yeah. Back up. Is the right, is that a microwave situation? 
No. Oh, good. And it's white rice? Uh, can be. can be brown rice or white oh, rice, brown, whatever brown, you want. Healthier, brown, healthier. But that's yeah, yeah. And look at you can that's put a good. few sauces on brown rice and man, that brown rice will go right down. So, and so therefore, you guys, because look, I'll tell all the Cassidy's part of our well-being is coming in after gig and having some snackies and watching our shows. But we're all in a health regime and we're all trying to be better and get rid of the hostess as much as humanly possible. And we did that start last summer. We, we did. And so we're bumping it up. And Polly's got and some great new ideas. Yeah, great. And we'll bring spaghetti again. The late night spaghetti. Bob, was, that, that was, was genius. Kind of cool. Kind of yeah. cool. That was genius. Um, digging That's the a right deal. Thing. I'll bring, bring my, uh, I'll, I'll bring my one, one on shot smoothie white, right, so maker. Like, yeah. The bullet. But man, we could make any kind of proteins with the skillet. We could do sausages. We could do chicken. Yeah, anything. I know you, you nailed it. Let's get rid of whatever encumbersome thing we had last year that we're bumping up to because we have to pull out to make. It was a toaster oven. It was a toaster that oven that we had. Okay. Then, then we'll we'll trade it out. I think we'll have healthier options. We're kind of navigating away from the provided food in the venues almost because yeah. last summer there was a lot of hot dogs and spaghetti rather than that. But now we yeah. can this kind of let's let's get what you're talking to. That's good, Paul. Yeah, yeah, we can make our own hot dog and spaghetti. Guys. Enough great. No, right we on. Don't, but right you know, on. Yeah. Uh, All right. I'm glad we got that taken care of. See how we do on our podcast. Y'all just helped us settle our our our, our food situation on our bus. Thank you yes. very much. And there's a lot of the healthy stuff still in the venue, luncheons and the, it's all there. Yeah, we, oh, yeah. supplements. We're going to grab salads there. from there and all sorts look, of stuff. Look, 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 I'm going to check all of our bunks every night for everybody's sneak snackies. <laughs> because I cut back so much, I, I don't sneak anymore. Um, when I was doing a lot, I did the amount I did in front of people. And then I did the other amount I did. On I my- got it. I got to admit something from the gummy bear intake, which was vast for a couple of us in this family. Names won't be mentioned. I ended up coming home with a freaking molar that had a cavity so bloody big. And I don't ever get cavities, y'all. I go and come back with nothing. I had a cavity. I killed my back because I'm laying in this bunk with gummy bears in my mouth going to sleep. You know what? I would go to bed like that. I got into the gummy bears. Horrible. I know you did a little bit. A-R-I-B-I. I can see that name in uppercase. Anyway, <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't get to the and brush your teeth and you go to bed and you had those, your mind starts picturing horrible germs. Well, it's happening. In your gums and you're going to go to sleep and they're going to get on your gums and you, you can get weird about yeah. it. Bob, it, it happened to me. My dentist who really, pri- I mean, I, I didn't go for years like some of us and now I've been on it. And she's been so proud of me. And she's like, what happened to you? And I went, gummy bear. Jeez. <laughs> oh, no pun intended. Crazy. <laughs> totally, man. So anyway. I have some news on that. So okay. I broke into the 180s as far as my body weight. I'm I'm 186 or 7 or 5. Great. But I haven't been in the 180 in 30 or 40 years. Copy. Literally. Wow. I've been 215, 220. He went so from... He went from lineman to tight end. Okay. Yeah, yeah buddy. <laughs> I've, lost, I've lost 30 pounds in the last four months. That's amazing, yes. Polly. That is amazing. And all healthfully done, by the way, everyone yes. listening. This yes. is just life's nutrition change. That's all it is. Cutting out everything I ate and eating what I should be eating. And moving That's it what... instead of losing it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's Paul's not... ahead of me and Bob, but we're bringing up the rear, right, Bobby? Come on. I, I Come lost, on. Well, I, I was the my, heaviest. I did my 30. I'm back to high school weight. But the the trick is, of course, we all know this. It takes a long time. If you think you're going to get this done in a rush, you're nuts. You won't stay. Yeah. Or you will. Oh, for those, sure. All those commercials with all people saying, all you got to do is eat this gummy bear. You don't have to diet. You don't have to work out. And you're going to just shred, <laughs> shred pounds. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. BS. That is BS. Or the other thing they do is in very, very tiny, bold, a tiny, tiny print at the bottom, they go, this associated with good eating and exercise, you yeah. will lose weight. They're pills. Yeah. With your personal trainer that Kelly Clarkson can afford. And let's get Kelly on here. I like her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, I reached out to Bob Merlis yesterday. I said, Bob, I heard Conan O'Brien has a great podcast uh, and, and he's from a Catholic a family with seven kids. Let's get out. Can you look into it? <laughs> so that's a step in the right direction, though, because anybody who had a late night show and we're sitting in front of them talking our talk, the universe will not it, look. We're just smacking it up everywhere. We're getting we're getting it. Oh, trust me. Yeah, we're going to get our own TV show. Three right. hosts never happened. Yep. Steve's the youngest in the family. You yep. know, 
I think she, I hope she envisions the threesome thing because I can see Susan after me and Paula gone to hosting her show. I get it. I see the three of us. It's never I happened. Know. It'll Susan be so swears. hilarious. We can all and host the same show. Did Bob get paid? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love hey, it. Bob, did Bob get paid? Hey, by the way, <laughs> just real quick at the end, we'll throw it out there. We are continuing meetings on the Reality Road TV show. Okay, we'll keep you posted. I don't even know if we mentioned that one. The Positive Reality Road TV show, which is nothing but good times with us. And I know you're thinking that that's not a reality show. We need conflict. Bullshit. Oh, sorry. Then, sorry. Sorry. No, it's okay. And they're not even allowed to script it. So whatever they got up their mind, it's going to be a good one. And it's going to be awesome. Normal. That makes us different than normal right there. We're not going to fight. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. that's what I'm trying right. to say is like, I look, I lean into those podcasts, to those reality shows, guys. I love a good feel good reality show, man. I do. So I'd yeah. love to put one out there. So I, yeah. when Brian came to us and that's what he wanted to do. Hell yes. Yeah. 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 For More sure. inspiration, man, for myself and others. It's all yeah. it's about. One real yeah. quick yeah. thing. Okay. Go yeah. Ahead. One real quick thing. And then I got to get ready for my next power meeting guys. I got a whole new outfit, new hairdo. We'll go, nice. out on, go out on speed. Dial. Thanks Polly. Oh, with the AP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just to c cover the rest of it. Uh, so we got the Happy Together Tour. July 27th and July 28th, we're in Friday Harbor, Washington. July 28th is a Saturday, I think, or Sunday. That's the public gig in Friday Harbor. It's a big deal, and I think it's a benefit. And then September 13th, 14th in Lorain, Ohio, Dearborn, Michigan, opening for the Buckinghams. True. <laughs> I know. No, so guys, I'll tell you what's going on here. The same promoter is booking this show. Okay. Okay. The, okay. He likes us, likes them, yep. likes others. It's and a, rightfully yeah. so. We are it's a good cool. combo. The Bucks and I, us get along. Absolutely. Yeah. September 20th, full band. Now, those are trio shows. September 20th, full band in Barbersville, West Virginia, hometown of the 97.9 River Radio <laughs> Weekly Radio Show. We're Sunday coming to our radio also show Chronicles. town. We're coming uh, yep. to also Radio Land. Thank you, Mike Kerner. November eighth, the Golden Nugget, Las Vegas, full Love band. It. December sixth, the Cutting Room Friday, full band. Love it. December eighth, St. Charles, Illinois Trio Show, and uh, that's it for Christmas so far. We're Christmas show. We're not uh, saying that at the Cutting Room. Okay, we have other things going on at the Cutting Room, but we'll do. Yeah. We'll do Christmas. But I am putting We're in for, 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 like for Christmassy Christmas. Christmas this year, guys. So I'm hoping that those three gigs will be what we got for December and then I'll be decking the hall. Susan is <laughs> Susan. We is, can make yes. it so. Susan is campaigning for public health and no more gigs after December 8th. I am campaigning for public uh, health. That is very Garth. good. I'm so glad you noticed All of you vendors out there who think you want us, don't call yeah, you don't. work at Paradise. <laughs> Leave us alone. January, no. I'm going to be so fit and ready this, for y'all again. This from the band who earlier were saying, why don't we ever go play anywhere? You know, uh, we're just kidding. Careful what you wish for. We love it. We love it. <laughs> we actually think that we missed this Christmas for a Branson type of Christmas date because of what happened in Branson. We were, everyone was caught off guard, folks. The theater wasn't. Hey, that would be the only it thing. It was going to be an annual show. and it. Well, if that happens, I'm back in. I think next Christmas, with this one being hurt by COVID plus that, I think something's going to come next Christmas. I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling it. Then let's take yeah. this one off with those beautiful three in the front and deck so, our halls and then come back strong right. with a new Branson Christmas. I got to get back to the eclipse. <laughs> Paul's going back to his eclipse because I think you go. No, he has a flight to Austin. Okay. Anyway, I'm meeting up with Jules Alexander. Funny. Thank you, everybody. Go, Sorry about the No Guest Compass family band falling through, but we understand this is something that these young kids are not going to see again for 20 years. And yeah. they probably figured, well, we'll put the castles off one week. Uh, 20 years. Listen, I thought party. about doing the same. Anyway, I got it. No, it was okay. I understood totally. No problem, George. We'll see you next not week. Not at all. You two kids. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, boys. Have a good time. See, See you Christmas in Cali, Day. guys. See you at three. See you bye, in Cali. Bye. Goodbye, Devo man. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, buds.